It was Heard who scored the goal, pouncing on the rebound after George Slipkus's long-range shot. The unthinkable was happening. Heidelberg was dominating the team scoring in the one of the fastest goals of the season from Gary Bratton's cross. Bumped its way to Stuart Stevenson, who laid it on for a cool, calculating crack from Willie Hurd. With five goals in the last seven games, Hurd has become a definite offensive. After 58 minutes, and captain Gary McDowell cleverly converted the short corner to level the scores. Adelaide was suddenly sparked into action. A momentary let off for Wollongong. As George Slifka sliced his way through the midfield, Alan Scott spread it wide, and Phil Stubbins hammered the ball under Warwick Young. If Heidelberg could maintain its 22nd minute lead, any lingering spectre of relegation game. Sydney Croatia failed to clear a long throw, and Willie Hurd scored a cracking volley from the edge of the box. Finals were rocked just three and a half minutes later. In a move started by Phil Stubbins, Heidelberg controlled the ball well in the blustery conditions. Stubbins got the ball back from Stuart Stevenson before tiptoeing his way through the defence to score. Gutsulis trying his luck, will it go in? No, Zabik is there, will it go in this time? No, the goal for Heidelberg! The goal they really deserve has come in the 20th minute of play. Terry Cutter scores his 20th goal, and it looked for one brief moment, John, it might have got in from Gutsulis. I don't think anyone can deny Heidelberg. Now, baby, don't stop. Heidelberg's Gary Bratton unleashed a wicked volley. It was a rare moment of inspiration in a tedious contest. Derek Hunter bobbed up for a last minute winner. Heidelberg skipper Gary Bratton scored a superb goal. It long, gets a nice one too, and Bratton's going on with it. Can he finish it off? He knocks it inside, and Hunter, it's just blocked off the line, but put away in the end by Rizopoulos. Sydney Croatia had the opportunities to clear it away. A lovely move through the middle by the captain, Gary Bratton. It fell for Hunter. Hunter, I thought, should have buried it, but in the end, they couldn't clear it away. Sydney Croatia, and Rizopoulos was there to pick up the pieces. Comes across by McNichol, free header, and it's a second goal. Lovely move. And Rizopoulos gets his second of the day. 33 minutes in, he was left free at the back post, and he finished it off well. Three minutes of normal time, plus stoppages to be added on, of course, in this first half. Rainey's on the ball, he leaves it for Stubbings, the rifle, good shot, a great save by Bosnich, but Rizopoulos has put his hat-trick in, he's finished it off for Heidelberg. And Stubbings' pile driver just before the break, Bosnich got down, but he could only block it, and Rizopoulos followed through to score his hat-trick. Two weeks ago, the Duck Hodgson was carried off this field, suffering a severe bout of dehydration. His muscle breakdown could have been so much more serious, but for the alertness of the medical officials here, amazingly, he's turning out today. But I would think with such a crucial game here, that's one of the big reasons. Clarkson. Death ball inside. That's a great header! The goal! Mikhail Akopoulos against his old club. In the seventh minute, he was left free. And there's the scoreline, 1-0 Heidelberg. And no one 
would be more pleased uh, former South Melbourne player scoring against Rowan Hall Club. It's a tremendous goal. South Melbourne, no doubt, will rue the uh, lack of adequate marking on him. Let's have a look at it again. It's a nice curling free kick in. It gets up early. And that's a dream start for Hunter. And no real chance there for the keeper, Anastasiadis, as well as getting there first, Mikhail Akopoulos. That was all for us. He's had a bit of work to do as well. Still the cross in. Stubbins had kept it in somehow, and in came Mikhail Akopoulos. 2-0, who would have predicted this time? Well, no one would have predicted it, but it's a dream start, Andy, and uh, young Mikhail Akopoulos getting both of them. But really, South Melbourne's marking here would be the question mark, but uh, let's take nothing away from Mikhail Akopoulos and Stubbins. Excellent work. Who was Slivka Sintasios, uh, Salakis, rather. Now the three shots, and a reflex save of the highest order. But Zulus can't believe it. That's the save that's kept South Melbourne in this game. There's just on six minutes of normal time, and this is the save of the game. Just how players like to hit them, Andy, the half volley as it's dipping. Dip the ball, and what a save from Antonio He's had two today, which he wants. Stubbins corner again, and not on by McNichol, McAllen-Gopoulos! That should have been the hat-trick, I think. Should have been number three, Corey. If there's a disturbing thing for South Melbourne today, uh, Andy, it's been the marking at the back. Just have a look at this. This is not the type of marking that's got South Melbourne at the top of the table. It's not the type of marking that's going to uh, win them the title either. Now the chance for Stubbins! Side netting! Just looking at the Sydney Olympics lineup, they've got six or seven players, and now there's the goal. Yeah, yeah. And there's Andrew Vlahos, he'll play those. Don't worry about that. Heidelberg, we talked about a lack of experience. Well, there's a youngster, the young Socceroo, has made it 1 0. Shut down to this incisive run by Walter and he just powered to the by line and just with the inside of the left foot. That's a dangerous ball. Well, that shot, you'll have a look here, Ardoni. He gets around Soros. In it comes. And Lajos claims that goal, 1-0. Georgiadis will throw for the pickle. Still Georgiadis in the duel with Milosevic. And now they have... They go to Coppola! I'm sure Vincent Sevilla wasn't applauding the goal, but... Supporters here are applauding that magnificent header. He was heavily marked, Andy. This is the real quality in the goal. And he snuck in just past the defender then. It was, a, it was on to you, he just snuck in. Dramatic winner in this game. Lajos. And there was Karapatos. Mikhailopoulos tries to line it up. Alan Scott was the player, they just hesitated a little too much. Georgiatis to McNichol. In comes the cross. That's a good header away. Now the drive! And Scott in it away! Georgiatis! Every big shot! Georgiatis really finished that off with class. The ball came, it was set up. The first shot was set back from Scott, but that uh, was a beautiful finish. It looked like it took a touch. 
Smith. It looked like it was off the Michaela Copolis in the middle. I thought it took a deflection.
right is Kutsoulis. Oh, Ali Dick oh, And that, again, was a chance at the other end. And the chances are coming through thick and fast now, John. And ends up on the wrong leg uh, for Ali Dick. Right foot of shot was on there, tried it with his favourite left. Got Michalakopoulos, who's free on the right. He's onside, but the touch is just a tad too long. They should have numbers inside. Michalakopoulos looks and missed by everyone. Uh, Scott Bratton, George Yardis have been very impressive for me so far. In and that was suicide, really, as it was left gunning.